Peter is 22 years old and lives in Bremeny, a pure but imaginary democracy. But how can Peter know that his country is a democracy? Oh, no. He asks himself four questions. Number one, do I vote? This year, Peter voted to elect the Bremeny parliament. This happens every four years. If he ever changes his mind, he can vote differently next time. Peter voted for the striped ones, but it was the green peas who won. This is known as a change in power. Number two, is there a separation of powers? When Peter is sentenced for stealing a scooter, the judges are independent. It's not the president of Bremeny or the parliament who decide his sentence. The law is the same for everyone. Even the leaders don't have the right to immunity. Number three, is there press freedom? Peter would like to become a journalist, a job which is a dream in his country. Yeah. The journalists don't have to be accountable to anyone. They won't go to prison if they criticize or praise the president, and they earn the same salary. Number four, can I talk about what I want, with whom I want? When Peter isn't happy, he can say it out loud. He can protest in the streets, peacefully, without being gassed or arrested. He can also hold a meeting with his disgruntled friends and form associations. Freedom of expression, one of the conditions for a democracy. The vast majority of countries declare themselves to be democratic. Among them are countries you might have some doubts about, such as the Democratic People's Republic of Korea or the Democratic Republic of Congo, and so on. Democracy is a concept that stimulates debate. Some mornings, when Peter realizes that the mayor has been in power for 25 years or that his favorite MP doesn't want to say how he earns his money, Peter's no longer very sure that he does live in a democracy.